The International Space Apps Challenge is an international mass collaboration focused on space exploration that takes place over 48 hours in cities around the world. The event embraces collaborative problem solving with a goal of producing relevant open source solutions to address global needs applicable to both life on Earth and life in space. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 NASA is leading this global collaboration along with a number of government collaborators and over 100 local organizing teams across the globe. Space Apps is annual NASA's Global Hackathon, first held in April 2012, and serves as Innovation Incubation Program. NASA and its partners put out challenges relating to current work for which space enthusiasts around the world of all backgrounds can develop innovative solutions which can be more than just apps, particularly focusing on use of NASA data and promoting education. The project is run by NASA's Office of the Chief Information Officer and is a part of the Open Government Initiative. It also fulfills the United States commitments to the Open Government Partnership. <laughs> NASA Space Apps Goals Exemplifies principles of transparency, participation and collaboration Utilizes openly available data, supplied through NASA missions and technology. Utilizes the talent and skill of passionate volunteers from around the planet. Advances space exploration and improve the quality of life on Earth. Topic how the event works Participants from all backgrounds are welcome. NASA coordinates the global event, but all locations are independently organized. With the exception of Kennedy Space Center in 2013-2014 and Glenn Research Center in 2015, all locations were organized by entities outside of NASA. However, some locations have been organized by the State Department. Locations start signing up in the fall prior to the event. Registration by participants and publication of the challenges occur in the early to mid-March time frame. Common Agenda Registration and Logistics Briefing, Welcome Speed Networking Session Form Challenge Teams and Start Work Progress Briefings Presentations to the Judges Awards Ceremony Despite the name, solutions to challenges could have many forms. Some examples are visualizations, simulations of space, scientific principles or data interactive maps tools that utilize NASA data sets software tools to transmit data for specific tasks payload designs for launching open source libraries, tools tools utilizing social media and or mobile devices for scientific, public good apps that give information based on users location or connect the user with other users while illustrating a space, science science principle games that inform about space, science designs for potential future missions i.e. orbits, landing sites, robots modeling solutions using NASA data sets patterns identified in NASA data sets ideas to make living in space better, easier ideas for connecting the public with what is going on in space, science anything the solvers can think of, each location nominates two teams for global judging and one additional team for global people's choice. Teams are also selected from the virtual projects to go on to global judging. To be eligible for global judging, teams must create a short video explaining their project length varies across the years. Years <laughs> 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 Over 2,000 people in 25 locations on all seven continents, in space, and virtually participated. Topic 2013. World's largest hackathon. 2013 to 9,000 plus people participants at locations in 44 countries in 83 cities and virtually from anywhere in the world. 83 consecutive hours of hacking 
57 challenges, 25 from NASA. NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden visited the Kennedy Space Center site. 2014 Main stage in New York City 45 challenges focus on five mission areas, asteroids Earth Watch Human Spaceflight Robotics Space Technology Data and Education were cross-cutting for all mission areas. Additionally, 27 projects from 2013 could also be built upon. 2015 The main stage was in New York City. Some countries, due to religious holidays April 11–12, held the challenge April 4–5. Nigeria, due to the potential for turmoil following elections, will hold the challenge April 18–19. All other locations will hold the challenge during the weekend of April 11–12. Challenge areas, Earth, Outer Space, Humans and Robotics. Space technology and education were cross-cutting for all mission areas. Topic 2016 Main stage in Pasadena, California. Women in Data Boot Camps held on April 22 in Pasadena. Other cities held boot camps on other dates leading up to Hackathon Weekend. Hackathon Weekend held April 23–24. 25 challenges focus on six themes International Space Station Journey to Mars Earth Technology Solar System and Beyond Aeronautics Topic 2017 Mainstage East in New York City and Mainstage West in Silicon Valley broadcast their data boot camp pre-events. Data boot camps were held on April 28 at both main stages. Hackathon Weekend was held April 29 to 30. Overall, this weekend's event included more than 25,000 participants worldwide in nearly 200 cities. The event reached more than 40 million people on social media with hashtag SpaceApps. The Hackathon Weekend included 25 challenges focusing on five Earth themes Ideate and Create Our Ecological Neighborhood Warning. Danger Ahead Planetary Blues The Earth and Us Topic. Women in Data Boot Camps April 10, 2015 The event was in New York City and was live-streamed over the Internet that day. Presenters talked about hackathons, problem-solving, communication and storytelling, using NASA data sets, and more. There was a workshop element in the afternoon, for hardware and programming. Virtual participants sent in questions via social media at hashtag AskBootCamp. Focus was on women in data. NASA also updated its data portal just prior to the 2015 Space Apps Challenge, April 22, 2016. The data bootcamp model is being adopted by cities around the world. Over 40 cities such as Cairo, Kivagrad, Guatemala, Sydney, Tirana hosted women in data boot camps this year. As the main stage, the city of Pasadena hosted a women in data boot camp on April 22 to provide women and girls a top-level introduction to coding, data science, technology platforms, and hackathon challenge development. Attendees heard from keynote speakers and panelists including Kimberly Bryant of Black Girls Code, Dr. Anita Sengupta of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and astronaut Doug Wheelock. <laughs> Space Apps Project Accelerator Toolkit In 2015, NASA released the Space Apps Project Accelerator Toolkit to the Space Apps community. The toolkit offers a resource to local Space Apps organizers to build their own community-sourced incubator to accelerate the most promising projects into sustainable innovations. 
The toolkit was designed to help innovation take root in communities around the planet, planted from the seeds of NASA's open data. Topic: <laughs> Global winners. The categories vary between the first year, 2012, and following years. The winners are judged based on short videos they produce about their project. The videos have been due 5 to 14 days after the challenge and were limited in length to be 30 to 120 seconds, varies year to year. Topic: <laughs> Winners invited to launch viewing opportunities. In 2013, Mars Exploration Program offered the Space Apps Global Winners opportunity to attend launch of MAVEN, a Mars orbiter. Kennedy Space Center also provided winners of their challenges that opportunity. The launch occurred on November 18, 2013, on an Atlas V 401 from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. In 2014, Global and Kennedy Space Center winners attended the Orion Exploration Flight Test 1 launch. The launch scrubbed once on December 4 before occurring on December 5, 2014, on a Delta IV Heavy from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The launch S. In 2015, Global and the overall Kennedy Space Center winners attended the viewing opportunity for the Cygnus CRS OA-4 launch, taking cargo and experiments to the International Space Station. The launch scrubbed twice on December 3 and 4, it occurred on December 6, 2015 on an Atlas V-401 from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. In 2016, Global and the overall Kennedy Space Center winners were invited to attend the launch of OSIRIS-REx, visiting the asteroid Bennu. The launch occurred on September 8, 2016, on an Atlas V-411 from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. In 2017, Global winners were invited to attend the launch of TDRSM, a NASA tracking and data relay satellite operated by the Space Communications and Navigation Program (SCAN). The mission experienced delays in weeks leading up to launch on August 18, 2017 on an Atlas V-401 from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. <laughs> <laughs> Social media As Space Apps is a global event, there is a very active social media element to the event. Participants can form teams virtually, collaborating even if they aren't sharing a physical space and never meet face to face. Hashtag Space Apps is used on Twitter and many other platforms. Each challenge is also assigned its own hashtag sharing of live streaming at the events has been organized some years. Hackpads for the challenges allow participants to ask questions of the experts and also coordinate virtual collaboration. Google Hangouts have also been coordinated with astronauts on the International Space Station and as a method of subject matter experts sharing expertise with participants. Yuri's <inaudible> <inaudible> Night <inaudible> 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 In 2014-2015, Space Apps planned the weekend to occur over Yuri's Night, April 12, when people around the world have parties and events to celebrate achievements in human spaceflight. <laughs> Global collaborators <laughs> Current. NASA White House Office of Science and Technology Policy European Space Agency Environmental Protection Agency National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Met Office UK Topic <laughs> Past Government JAXA United States Department of State National Science Foundation 
U.S. Embassy in Jakarta Australian Space Policy Unit Technology Strategy Board British Atmospheric Data Centre Topic: Past outside of government. Geeks without bounds. Ustream. GitHub. Urban Engine. Random hacks of kindness. Yahoo Developer Network. Gov2. Zero Radio. Second Muse. Innovation Endeavors. Talent House. Topic: Cultural references. As a part of promotion of the Martian film, the Ares 3 farewell video was released on the Ares live YouTube channel. The following crew fact was presented at 1:22 in the video for Beth Johansson, a computer scientist played by Kate Mara, won NASA's largest hackathon when she was 17. As space apps currently as NASA's global hackathon and was the world's not just NASA's largest in 2013, this alludes to Beth having won space apps. <laughs> <laughs> Topic: 